Hello. Uh, talking about effective uh, ways by which one can confidently overcome constipation. Constipation is a very commonly misunderstood uh, phenomenon and is a symptom that many people suffer from. It is defined as not able to open bowels for at least three times in a week. Uh, and that does not always come with bloating. Uh, or sometimes the, this bloating and or passage of rabbit pellets. Uh, this is something that distresses quite a number of people and I am going to present to you a few ideas on how to actually cope with this. What is it? Constipation is simply defined as inability to open bowels or pool for at least three episodes within a one week period. The bowels are large, dry, lumpy or appear like rabbit pellets. There is often straining, pain or sometimes people cry during pooing. Yes, I said you're right, cry. What are the causes of constipation? It is often caused by non-sinister and all sinister issues, in other words. Uh, the most common are not due to cancer or masses. Uh, among the commonest ones are the fact that the bowel is just sluggish and so on. I ignoring the urge to visit the toilet leads to increased absorption of water by the large bowel, thus leading to excessive dryness of stools, inability Oh, sorry, inactivity and lack of exercise can promote constipation. Depression as well, that is our moods, anxiety and stress can alter the bowel. Uh, if you change your diet or routine of daily activities, not eating enough high fiber foods such as vegetables, cereals or fruits, staying dehydrated and not drinking enough water, of course, remember that even if you drink some fluids, including alcohol, it can dehydrate one. Uh, side effects of some medications, such as painkillers, such as cocodamol, codeine, or morphine, all of these are causes of constipation. How do you handle constipation before seeing the doctor, for example? Try and change your daily diet and uh, lifestyle. Uh, that can help. Uh, use of alternative medications, if possible, to control any associated conditions. Have a healthy toilet routine. In other words, do not have to hesitate when you feel the urge to go. Try simple laxatives such as Fibogel and Olsenacort. Seek medical attention if you are not able to uh, get better and or if you have what is described commonly as red flag symptoms. I will talk about these red flag symptoms later on. Next, the aspects uh, that I've mentioned earlier, change in diet, uh, of course, vegetables and fruits, avoid alcohol, drink plenty fluids, particularly water, uh, whole bread, wheat, oats, brown rice and vegetables, lifestyle changes and modification make sure that you're not static like a couch potato run if you can and there are no limitations and have a targeted exercise routine ensure that your toilet routine is maintained unless there is no place to have a bowel motion do not delay going once you feel the urge to have a pool rest your feet on a low stool while on the toilet seat this presupposes you use the water system, water closet rather, and raise your knees above your hips. This is the anatomical convenient position that ensures a straight rectum, and which is that part of the bowel that is before the anus. I did mention about red flux, and these are some of them that I bring out to your attention. Seek a consultation for your constipation if these are present. If use of simple laxatives do not improve your symptom, 
and your constipation is new onset, particularly when you are above 45, lasting beyond a month. Uh, presence of blood in your pool is an important symptom of concern. Unexplained weight loss as evidenced by the need to change your clothes size, actual weight measurements, and all comments from your family or loved ones. Uh, whenever there is extreme tiredness and fatigue, that is an important point and or you suspect that some of the medications you're taking may be responsible for the constipation right so this is just a graphical uh, demonstration of foods that may be relevant uh, which you can go for water yogurt pulses broccoli prunes grapes whole wheat bread flaxseed oils and wheat bran What will happen if your constipation is left untreated? Of course, the feces will impact. Uh, impact meaning that it's not able to come out. And uh, that would need to be manually evacuated. That is not something you want. Hemorrhoids can form, that is piles, bulging of blood vessels located at the junction of the rectum and the anus, which may then bleed become thrombosed, infected, and or painful. There may be overflow diarrhea, in which case there would be loose tools which will seep around hard bowel motions, which may then present as diarrhea. This can confuse people uh, and who then go on to take antidiarrheal agents and then complicates the whole overall pattern of constipation. Uh, I think this is a brief to help us look after our bowel health. You now know how to handle constipation. And uh, if you do like this tutorial, do not hesitate to let me know. And or visit at my website at uh, www.worthy-works.com. Thank you very much and see you at another time. Bye-bye.